So to me, from what I've seen, from what I've noticed, the flare gun, it seems to be one of the more underused weapons in Battlefield 1, and I don't really understand why. Because it could be so overpowered if you know how to use it. If you know how to use it correctly, you can really wreak some havoc on this, on the battlefield, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why people don't, don't know this and don't use it, but let's go ahead and talk about how you can be beasting on the battlefield with the flare gun. It's actually a lot simpler than you probably think, but it can be OP'd. It is secretly OP'd, my man, so. Just so you guys know, just so that we can, you know, establish this little baseline here, there's two variations of the flare gun. That's the flare and the spot. Alright, that's the two variations of the flare gun. We're going to be talking mostly about the spot version. Spot variation is actually going to be the most underused one as well. People don't really use that one too much. Now, the reason why the spot one is so powerful is because it allows you to see people on the mini map. So you throw it in a room where there's like an objective, or maybe if you're playing Rush, you throw it near the telegraph, and you can literally see on the mini map everybody. Everybody, and you can see their exact movements. And now, not only that, but you can also see if they're on top or below. Like, you can see, like, if they're on the top floor, and but they're still in that radius of, of the flare gun or whatever like the radius of effectiveness the area of effectiveness they're still going to be shown on the map even if they're on the floor above and that is what's really really cool about this and then not only that is as if that wasn't enough all right because that in itself is already pretty great to know that's like amazing for like objective based game modes but if that wasn't even great enough already not only that but dude the area of effectiveness is huge it's massive compared to what it really should be to be honest and that's pretty much the biggest reason why the flare gun is so OP is because of the area of effectiveness now if the area of effectiveness effectiveness was smaller like just one room and it wasn't on both floors both on the, like the bottom floor and the top floor and it wasn't like such a big radius like I said like that maybe would be okay that wouldn't be so overpowered but dude that is not like that at all at all dude like you can literally see everybody that is in that area, in that whole building, top floor and bottom floor, and even outside in the courtyard and all over the place, man. Like, it's such a huge radius, and that's why I really, really recommend this flare gun for objective-based game modes. If and not even that, dude, like for anything, this whole this 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 flare gun, it's just as a whole it's overpowered dude I really wanted you guys to know this because if you use it and if you use it correctly you can really beast on the battlefield and then not only that but it, you can see everything and so can your squad mates so it's not just you but it's also your squad mates which, which just adds more to the fact that it is overpowered like that just all together dude this weapon is OP'd and they need to patch it and before they do I'm sure that they eventually they're gonna do something to it because people are gonna start using this like crazy and once they do that like it'll be back to uh, normal powered or if that's even a word or whatever the word is like not underpowered but normal you know what, what you're supposed to have balanced but once they do that, it'll be balanced. But before that, man, you guys better start using this thing because it's going to be a beast on the battlefield. It's going to help you out a lot. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I wanted to show you guys that, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more daily Battlefield 1 content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.